All right, girl. Wow, this guy tried to write girl is fucking with my head, and she's so fucking with his head. He wrote girl, girls if fucking with my head. Uh, Dear Billy Bats, um, a few months ago, my waitress at a Mexican restaurant caught my eye with her cute smile and warm personality. I asked her out, and things are going great. After two dates, we were having sex, and I love spending time with her and making her laugh. She's also joining the Air Force, and she used to ask me advice because I'm in the Marine Reserves. I didn't see her during her final week, and late on Saturday during my drill weekend, she was texting that she was a terrible person, and she was never going to amount to anything. Sounds like she fucked around with it on you. Uh, I'm sorry. That's just my paranoia. I consoled her, and she sent a two-page text while I was asleep. At 6 a.m. the next morning, I woke up to the text that read, This has been eating away at me, and I had a few glasses of wine and can't hold it in. Oh, here it comes. On Wednesday, I had lunch with my old friend with benefits, and I ended up blowing him. I'm so sorry. I like you so much, and I feel horrible. The next day, I asked a few details about the incident. (laughs) Were you using your hand, too, cranking the shaft? Um, I asked a few questions about the incident and said she had a strange way of showing affection towards me. I told her I didn't want to see her anymore and de- deleted all of her contact into my info from my phone and blocked her number. Perfect. Am I being too hard? Is it really so hard to not suck a dick? I've never had the urge. She even told me not to cheat on her and then does this. I probably should have seen it coming because apparently she'd also had a threesome with two guys. She seems so nice, though. This is the first time I've been cheated on and is fucking with my head. I'm 23. This shouldn't be that big of a deal, but my confidence took a serious blow here. No pun intended. Um, hey, dude, you know, that it, that happened to me at least three times in my life that I'm aware of. Women fucking cheat, too. All right. I mean, everybody knows that guys are dogs. But women do it fucking too, all right? And um, how many fucking, I don't want to get it. It's just, dude, the only reason right now where you're questioning, am I being so hard on her? That's just your feelings talking because you miss her. But, dude, you did the right thing. You deleted her shit. You told her to fuck off. That's a big-time self-esteem move. And uh, you're only 23 years old. You got a bunch of great women in your future. Um, I'm not saying fuck her as far as her as a person, but just forget her as far as like someone that you can have a relationship with. But you know, she's obviously working out some stuff and, uh, you know, she, you know, she's on her path. You're on your path and, uh, you're not looking for that. Sounds like, and, uh, yeah, you just, just move on. You did the right fucking thing. You know, allow yourself to be sad and go through the shit and all that. You know, don't do the dumb guy thing where you just try to shut off your feelings. Go through the feelings. Fucking cry it out of you when no one's around. Don't make it awkward for other fucking people. And then, uh, you know, just don't fuck with anybody for a while. You know, (laughs) figure out what the fuck you want to do next. But don't go back to her. You can't go back to her. Um, Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. Plus, you know, she's joining the fucking Air Force. She's going to the Marines anyways. You know? Can't tell me this. You, you, you go, you're gonna probably go around the fucking world. You're gonna meet all kinds of beautiful women. She actually meant a long way. She probably did you a favor. That, and I'll tell you right now, that is as positive as I can spin that because I know it, it sucks. It sucks. You know, what are you gonna do? 